Hello. Welcome. This is Westmoreland High School. I'm so glad that everyone was able to be here today. It's looking like we've got a pretty packed audience. I just wanted to give you a couple of reminders. You guys have all been to band concerts before. I know. I know you know what to do, but it's my job to make sure that everything is running smoothly. I just wanted to give out a few reminders. Uh, first things first, we got a really packed house. There's a lot of people here. We're pulling chairs in for anyone in the back. If you have empty seats next to you, if you could squeeze in, fill in those empty seats so that we got a little bit more room for everybody in the audience. That would be great. Another thing, we have some people here to record video and audio of the performance. I understand that you want a video on your phone, and that's awesome, all right? You want to save these memories. It's going to be a great concert. You're going to want to listen to it again. We'll make sure that everybody has access to the concert video, all right? Along with that, the cameras, the flash, it's very dark out where you are, and we'll be able to see those flashes on stage. It's very distracting for the performers, so I'd like to remind you, silence your cell phones, please no flash photography, no flash video. With the performances going on, I, I want to remind you, please don't get up and leave during the middle of a song. The doors are very loud, and again, it'll distract the musicians on the stage. If you need to use the restrooms, you can go right out behind the exit doors in the back of the auditorium, and there's bathrooms right out there for you to use. The last thing I wanted to mention is that we've got the high school band in the audience, the middle school honor band on stage. I wanted to let you know that it's expected that the middle school band stays for the high school performance. We'll have a little bit of a transition where we swap the bands back and forth, and middle schoolers you guys are going to stay and listen to the high school band. Trust me, you'll want to. I want to give a, a shout out to a couple people just before we start. Uh, this is uh, the high school where I work, and we were here yesterday as well as today. I wanted to just shout out John from Service Master, who has been just amazing for us, helping us get set. John, are you in the back? Is that you? Yeah. Go ahead, look for John. He's waving. It's no easy feat to help us get organized. We had about 175 kids between the high school and the middle school. And without John, we would have never gotten it. I want to shout out, of course, my administration, Mr. Bowen, Mr. Hernandez, and Ms. Eddings, my superintendent, and Mr. Passaretti, the middle school band directors, superintendents, uh, uh, Dr. Perry, and Ms. Kathy Rice for supporting the arts in Westmoreland County. We are, are you back there waving? There they are. Say hello. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so great to be in Westmoreland County. We got awesome support for the arts. We get to travel. We get to perform in this beautiful auditorium. Uh, and I want to uh, go ahead and stop talking so much so we can get to the music. I want to introduce Mr. Uh, Bruce Passaretti. He's the middle school band director just down the road in Westmoreland County. He's going to tell you about the middle school honor band. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Passaretti. I'm going to introduce our junior high band. Uh, it's a really cool event that we get to do with these students in honor band. It's something that it's like an, I describe it as an all-star team, but for band and uh, for musicians, instrumentalists. It's a really cool thing. We get these awesome guest directors to come visit and uh, lead these kids a couple days for a rehearsal on this performance you're about to witness. So I'm going to introduce uh, our guest director for the junior high band. Our guest director is Mr. Jonathan Neff. He is the band director at St. Francis University in Pennsylvania, and this is his second year there. Before that, he taught for 15 years in the southern tier of New York State in public school, teaching anything from beginning band through high school band, jazz band, pep band, marching band, uh, music theory, and everything in between. And uh, you can read about both of our directors. Their bios are in the programs. Um, but Mr. Neff left out the coolest part of his bio, which is why I'm introducing him today. Mr. Neff was my band instructor from 8th through 12th grade, so I'm very excited to introduce to the stage Mr. Jonathan Neff. Give him a round of applause.
Thank you. That was Serengeti Dreams uh, by the late, great composer Robert W. Smith, who sadly passed away uh, last year. I had the, the pleasure of working with him a few times in college, and I've always admired his work. So Serengeti Dreams by Robert W. Smith. Next up, we're doing the Zydeco Cajun Crawdad Dance. It's a great name. Uh, essentially, hang on, I'm on the wrong page. <clears throat> Essentially, uh, Zydeco is a unique style of popular music that evolved in southwest Louisiana in the early 19th century. There's elements of Cajun music, French dance melodies, Creole music, all sorts of stuff, backbeat feel, very Caribbean or Caribbean, or however you want to say it. You say it however you want. Uh, it has that feel to it. So this piece uh, attempts to convey the spirit of a festive backwoods jubilee, and uh, we're going to see... See what we can do. So this is Zydeco Cajun Crawdad Dance. this age group for this level. So this is just one section of the song. 
Um, you know, my hope in programming this is that someday some of these folks on stage might play the real version of this and be like, oh yeah, I remember that. It's a wonderful piece of music, and I uh, hope you enjoy the march from first suite for Military Day. It's really fun to, to be down here and, and to see this and to see what he's doing. So I'd like to thank him. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Heiger. I'd like to thank Mr. Uh, Hunter for helping out and, uh, and getting me down here and, and uh, all the other directors in the, in the area for helping with rehearsals and percussion things and whatever we needed to move, they were always willing to jump in. So let's give the directors here a round of applause. They deserve it. You know, I did that job. I taught middle school and high school for 15 years. And, um, you know, there are days where you're like, what am I doing? Uh, and, you know, I mean, you all know you have a middle school student, right? So you've, you've been there. Uh, my oldest son is 13, so I'm, I'm getting there myself. It's, it's great. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Um, now, they, they've been a joy to work with, truly. Uh, this is, I figured, that this is the longest some of them have had to sit and focus on music ever. They've done such a great job. 
this is not super easy literature. It's not like, well, here's the easiest song to find. I mean, this is some pretty meaty stuff we're doing, and they've really risen to the occasion. So give them a round of applause. For you. Close out our section here with Blue Sky Horizon by Randall Standridge. Randall Standridge is like a prolific composer right now. He's everywhere. Uh, this is part of his Unbroken project, which is essentially him writing music about mental health and mental health awareness and his own struggles with it. He wrote this on a particularly good day he was having uh, when he was not feeling depressed. And he was like, oh, I'm going to write a song. And this is what came out. So we hope you enjoy Blue Sky Horizon. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, enjoy Senior High after us. Mr. Robbie Spires, 
And uh, he is coming as a retired band director to work with our high school students. It's such an honor to have him here. I have no doubt everyone on stage has learned so much from being under his baton and playing the music that he selected. Uh, Mr. Spire's entire bio is in the program. I want to encourage you to take a look at that. But Mr. Spires, he spent his entire career at one school, at Lancaster High School, uh, where he grew that band program into a very, very large percentage of the student population. And it's something that I want to point out. There's no better way to advocate for the importance of music and music education in public schools than to have a majority of your school participating in music. So that's an amazing thing. I want to say thank you to everyone that's here, parents, students, administrators, band directors, everyone. I, I'm sure that I can't name everybody, but it's such an honor to be able to host this event, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the band play. Here's Mr. Spires in the high school area honor band. Thank you.
having me. Um, I spent 33 years at Lancaster County, and I, and I was always in the always in the back room. Thank you, Mr. Police, sir. Just one, two. See, I was always in the back room uh, cutting up and, and, and playing around all weekend, and, and somebody else was doing all the work. And, and what a joy it is to be here working with the kids. Um, there's nothing like Golden Neck kids, country kids. Um, so, yeah. That was a Brian Balmage uh, piece, 321, and we say dot, 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 because uh, after 321, it takes off, so uh, that's a really great song to open up the concert. Um, these, these kids are playing some notes. Um, every single piece that they're playing today, they have never played before, they've never even seen it before until yesterday morning at 9.30. Um, we just started working through it, teaching them music, and uh, they have never played with each other. They never have seen me and knew that I existed, so it was it's one of those great things to watch, is putting a band together like this, and Mr. Neff with the middle school kids, just putting it together and putting on a concert. Um, you can't see that anywhere else with uh, kids and adults coming together and making music. So I want to congratulate these kids for making this band. <laughs> and giving up a whole weekend, giving up a whole Saturday. I know it was a ton of the day. Nothing like having a rainy Saturday you can come in and do something indoors. Um, so hopefully it's stopped raining that I've been out there. We are, um, we are, we have the privilege to premiere a piece tonight, uh, this afternoon, but that's never been played. Um, in fact, it's just hot off the press. Um, the composer sent me an email with all the parts. And um, I was looking for a fresh march because uh, um, the bands, excuse me, I can, I need to read that email. Uh, I need to read the text from the composer, but I have a friend named Andy uh, Leahy. He's a band director down in Texas, and um, he reached out when he, I was kind of putting out some feelings. Anybody know about some new marches, some new fresh marches? And he texted me. He said, I've got a, I just wrote a piece. I just wrote a march. And he said, um, I would love for you to play it with the kids if you would agree to it. So he sent me out to it, and I said, this is really good. So um, we have the pleasure of, um, Premiering uh, March of the Animals, um, I want to read this to you, and he asked me to please read this. It says, uh, Andy Leahy said, it has been my distinct pleasure to work with the wooden houses of this festival, including and especially Mr. Spires. Thank you for your hard work these last couple of days, students, and thank you to the Nolnek Middle Peninsula Area Band and the students for your willingness to premiere my first ever composition. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person to hear it, but I can't wait to hear the final product. Sincerely, Andy Lady. So it is our pleasure to premiere March of the Animals.
in 2018, actually 2017, we had commissioned, like the high school band, had commissioned a work by um, Virginia composer Gary Fagan, uh, who's a friend of mine, and he, and, and he commissioning a work means you go to the composer and say, hey, will you write a work um, in honor and or in memory of, and um, it, it, it really does, does help um, when, when tragic events happen. Um, 2014, um, I lost my wife uh, with, with ocular melanoma, and, and she, she passed away after, after a long illness and a long fight. Um, and so I began to kind of kind of go through that process, you know, the process that you go through when you lose someone like that. And um, I said, you know what, we need to commission a piece in her honor um, and in her memory. So um, talking back and forth to Gary Fagan, he, he, uh, he and I came up with, with uh, the song Glad Adoration. Um, it's based on the uh, hymn tune, Praise to the Lord the Almighty. And if you know that hymn tune, you'll, you'll, recognize, you'll recognize it if you hear it. The very last two words of the first of the first verse in that hymn, the next time if you go to church, next time you're if you're singing in the church, you can see that, is praise him in glad adoration. And so that that uh, ex exemplifies the life that my wife Mrs. Spire has lived. Glad adoration. And uh, this is a tribute and memory of my wife and I appreciate it. another great opportunity to play this song with one of the kids.
Before we do our last song and close out this concert, um, <coughs> great friends here, band directors here. Um, I want to say to the kids and to the directors, this this job and this area to teach in is rewarding, it's enjoyable, but it's also so difficult. And, and, and these band directors have so many obstacles because you're in a rural community. And because you, you, your resources are not what the big city schools have and the Northern Virginia schools have. Um, and none of their kids take private lessons. They don't have staff. And it, it's, all, it's all them. It's all the one director at each school. In some counties, there's one director for all the schools. Um, and if, if you've never stopped to think about it, so challenging, so challenging. Not to mention these little schools, everybody does everything. So um, if you got a band member, they play every play baseball, they play softball, they play soccer. They're also onto this and into that. And, and 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 so when you when you have small schools, you have to you have to really really work on getting the kids to practice, but also respecting the rest of the school environment and the rest of the school teams. So so um, it's kind of a balancing act. But but I want to I want to recognize the band directors because this is a difficult job. But it's so rewarding when you make music with country North Net kids. So, band director, thank you. Our final song is is part of um, Mr. Neff uh, talked about the Unbroken Project by uh, Randall Standridge, um, and this is part of that project. Um, this this. The song is called Choose Joy, and just real quickly, it was a commission um, for a young lady, uh, a student in a band um, who developed uh, stage four brain cancer, and she died at 20 years old, um, but her family celebrated her because um, they, they, the way they navigated um, this, 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 this emotionally horrible event was they chose joy and that was their motto um, so so that it, 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 it goes on to say for many of you that may have been touched by cancer i'm sure you can agree that we never know how much time we're given on this earth but life events such as these can put a lot of things into perspective happiness is a, is a choice um, even in the face of incredible adversity so um, this song is in memory of, of uh, the young lady Nicole Crandall who, who passed away, um, but her motto was choose joy, and it is a choice. So we're going to close our, our, our concert off with just a great ride, a great energetic song and fun to play. This is choose joy, and it's been a pleasure and a joy for me to be here this weekend. Thank you.
Oh, <laughs> 